Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 9 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, we're going to be doing the undercart wheels. Also, don't forget the foreshadowing from the last episode. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. Okay, now we come to the tragic bit. Oh, I know a song with those words. I believe it was Engineer's song. Anywho, I digress. I'm good at that. Uh, you obviously already noticed that. See, I've done it again. Right, come on, focus. This is the point where I realised I had done the wrong undercart section for this aircraft. So I had to redo this completely. RTFM springs to mind. Yeah, so... Anyway, let's get this little tinker done, shall we? There we go, that's the correct undercart section done. Clamped and put to one side to dry. Now let's crack on with the upper wing and get this sorted, shall we? There we go, let's pop that to one side. Don't know why I did that, maybe a bit of a squirrel moment. Anywho, now for some dry fitting of the fuselage. I dry fitted this on numerous occasions without issue, but for some reason, it decided to be a bit of a git. The locator pin snapped off in a hole, so I had to drill the hole out. I'll pop a short piece of wire in there later. There we go, that's done. Now all I need to do is just finish off prepping the mating surfaces, ready for another dry fit, and then hopefully gluing. So, let's crack on.
Okay, I'm happy with the fit here. A little bit of warpage on the model, but nothing some glue and a couple of clamps can't fix. So let's get this bad boy fitted together. There we go, all glued and clamped. I did say a couple of clamps, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Should have been a few. Anywho, let's move on to the undercart and get that section cleaned up, ready for priming, shall we? There we go, undercart prepped and ready for priming. Now on to cleaning up the upper wing. Here we go, let's crack on with that. Now it's time for these little sods. I pinged two of them and replaced them with the other ones that were in the kit. So, just so you know. And there it was, gone. Where it went, nobody knows. Well, well, let's carry on. There we go, that's the mid and lower wing done. Now, let's get back to the upper wing. Here we go. Okay, so there's the upper wing done. The reason I'm using so many clamps is that this is the wing that was damaged in transit. So hopefully this will rectify this issue with a bit of sanding, it should be fine. Moving swiftly along, 
we're going to angle the elevators down slightly. So this involves a bit of cutting, fettling and jiggery pokery. So let's crack on and get this done, shall we? That's the elevator prepped. I left the middle section untouched as I wanted a decent connection to the rest of the tailplane. Now we have the rudder. Quick clean up and that'll be ready. There we go, one rudder cleaned up and prepped, ready for priming. Anywho, this seems as good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode nine. If you want to see what happens in episode 10, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling. <laughs>